Hey guys, Nick Stock of Demonic Procedures here. I'm going to show you how to create the different texture maps you're going to need to complete your 3D object. Now know this, this is not the way you'd really do it. This is kind of a cheat way if you don't have a 3D package or something like that. Normally what you would do is you would create your 3D model, texture it with whatever color text you can make, and you would create the maps out of your 3D package such as Lightwave, uh, ZBrush, um, 3ds but this is kind of a way to fake it um, to do this tutorial you're gonna need a plugin and if you go to Google and type in Photoshop normal map plugin I'm glad nothing dirty popped up uh, and go to the very top one Nvidia texture tools for Adobe Photoshop right here you want to get either the 32-bit or the 64-bit depending on what version of Photoshop you have so I load up my color texture and now I want to turn it into a normal map so I'm going to go to, go to filter down to NVIDIA Tools, Normal Map Filter, and la la, it's very easy to do. Um, sometimes it'll come out looking like this, and that's kind of wonky, and you want a little bit more detail, so basically the higher you go up, the little blurrier, kind of more, um, like this is like super high detail, basically it's getting like every little tiny crevice, and we don't want that, because then we'll get some like really wonky looking texture. So we just kind of, I'm going to put it on 5x5 five five for mine, yours might be different, scale is the amount that it's going to um, put to this, oh shit. Hit enter. Anyways, we're going to do that. Filter, NVIDIA tools. This is, uh, here the scale is the, like, amount it's going to put to this. So if I put it to 1, it'll kind of be barely showing one up. 15, it really pops it out. Um, I think, uh, what is it, 8? Eight? 8 seems like a good number for this. I'm going to go to my 3D preview here at the bottom left. And now we have, like, a 3D plane. And we can kind of negotiate around it. It kind of has like a light that goes on and off and stuff that we can check out. If we hold control, I think, and left click. Yeah, left click. We can adjust. We can move around and look at the different way lighting is re going to react to this inside the game, which probably is going to be a lot better than what this looks like. I can promise you that. If you need help, you can hit F1, and it shows you how to move around, um, except it's wrong. Right mouse does not rotate images. It pans left mouse rotate your image um, or pans around I mean I'm sorry and middle mouse moves you forward and backward alright let's close that out hit ok I have a normal map yay look how pro I am so now we have a normal map we want to undo that and now we're gonna make the rest of them I always do the normal map first because if I do the other ones first it kinda of wonkies out and puts like a transparency on it and it's all goofy so as soon as you bring in your thing do your normal map, save it off as something else, and then do the other, and then open up a new one. Do another, do um, do your other ones. So I'm going to unlock my background by double clicking it, and I'm going to right click it and duplicate my layer just in case I screw up. I don't want to mess up my original image. Uh, okay, so I have my image here, and first we're going to do the specular. So to do this, we're going to desaturate the image by going to the image tab up here, adjustments, hue and saturation. You can do the desaturate, but we're pros, we do it manually. We're going to bring down the saturation, and voila, we have a black and white image. Now, what we need to do is bring out the whites and drop down the blacks, because we want the little white highlights here, and on these little knobby things, and on the edges here to sh like really shine, so that way it can tell the program, hey, when these areas are hit by light, really, you know, bump up the shine, do it crazy. So we're going to go to Image Adjustment, and we're going to adjust our levels. Here we can adjust our levels by grabbing this white. Little tab controls the whites. If I bring it in, it gets blown out with white. If I grab the black, it drops down the black. And if I use the middle, it kind of tr changes the midtones. So it'll either blow it out or drop it black. <clears throat> but we're going to leave that at one, I think it is, right? It's supposed to be one? Yeah. Okay, so we want to get a lot of the whites. So to do that, we're going to crush the blacks down. And we just want to keep these whites in. So we're going to bring these whites up a little bit to blow out the whites. And we're just kind of crushing the levels here until we have a nice little something we like so I like this here we're getting these little highlights on the edge of the uh, things that are gonna pop out edge here edge here and around here white little tops on these knobby things so I'll say okay with that but the problem is I used a really low resolution image so it looks like ass so to make it not look like ass let's blur it we're not gonna want to blur this a lot because it's gonna throw off where our highlights are but we do want to kind of smooth it out just a little bit. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. We don't use Blur. We're Gaussian Blurrers because we're pro. And I'm just going to blur a little tiny bit, like 0.3. See, right there. 
Now it's a lot smoother. You can see the difference there as I switch back and forth. I like the smoother looking one. Looks better, I think. All right, so we're done with our spec. Let's right click our original image, duplicate that layer, and turn on the eyeball and turn off our spec. We're going to go to image again, adjustments, and we're going to desaturate this one just like the old one. Desaturate, done. Really freaking easy. Image, adjustment, levels. Here we are again. But now this time, instead of bringing out the whites, we kind of want to blow out the whites and accentuate the blacks. So to do this, we're going to move the white over here, blow them out, blow them out. But now the blacks are starting to fade to gray. We want those blacks, so let's bring in the blacks a little bit more, bring in the whites, and we're just really crushing this down. Now we're getting those nice shadows here, um, grunge built up in this corner where the light's really not going to affect it that much, um, right around the little knobbies. So this is good because the ambient occlusion is basically telling it where the shadows are going to be, where it's going to be real dirty and grungy and where light's not going to really affect it that much. So that's good, but again, it looks like ass. So let's make it not look like ass by going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, blur it out a little bit. There, not so much ass. So now we have our specular, our ambient, and our color. And somewhere, if I were saved off my normal, I would have that. And now you have the three main kind of mats you're going to need for your textures. So I hope this helps. Um, hopefully I can, I can make some tutorials on doing them inside the actual 3D programs if you guys want. Um, the only problem is there's like tons of 3D programs, so I literally have like 15 tutorials of the same thing, just with a different program. So um, I'm going to have to figure it out. I might do Lightwave and maybe ZBrush. I don't know. We'll see it along the way. So request what program you want, and hopefully I'll do a video tutorial on it. Actually, I probably will because I ain't got shit to do. Oh, since I'm running kind of short on time, or long on time, I got lots of time. I want to talk about what I've been doing lately. Why I haven't been making tutorials. What the hell have you been doing, Nick? Where's my tutorials? Well, I was hired. Um, I was hired by Stereo D in LA. I moved to California from Florida and I started making movies. Um, I do 2D to 3D conversions. I convert these awesome movies into 3D, which I'm sure you all hate me for, but I don't care. It pays me a lot of money and I get to work on sweet stuff like Captain America, which we just finished, what? Coming out soon to a theater near you, go see it. See my name in the credits. Jackass, 3D, holy shit, look at those assholes. Rest in peace, Ryan Dunn. Thor, Thor was a fun movie. That was my first one actually I got to do for him. I didn't get to work on Jackass, that would've been cool though. And Gulliver's Travels. Yeah, um, so I did get to work on some movies and I have I worked on a couple more movies that I can't talk about yet because they're not released, but um, now that we're kind of like out of our crunch time and pushing this next movie out the door, uh, we will, I will be able to do some more tutorials for you guys, so hurry up and queue in a line for whatever you want to learn, let me know, I'll try to learn as fast as I can, or if I, if I don't know it, and teach it to you guys, or if I do it, I'll put out a tutorial ASAP, like literally I just got this request for this one, it's been 30 minutes, it's done. Just like Domino's, 30 minutes or your tutorial's free, this one's going to cost you $5 though, because it's under, it's under 30 minutes, so $5. Yeah, five dollars. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Nick Stalker. I went to Monty Procedures. Just remember the demons inside.